Hi, this is Marty, and uh, welcome back uh, for another video. All right, um, in this video, I'm going to do a follow-up, a uh, part two, uh, to uh, how to stop the crazies. All right, so this is like actually really interesting. Um, I, and and again, uh, just maybe I should just say this one time and just like never say it again. Uh, in another video, I'll do more. Okay, all right. I, so if you watch the, the, the video on the crazies, um, it, it, you know, it's, it was up in the beginning or it's at the end. I'll put it, you know, like uh, at the end of the video, you, you click on it and watch it or go back and watch. It. I didn't put that many videos up, so it's, it's right there. Um, but basically, uh, it, it, people, people basically choose and or because of their past, a tendency to say, I, I'm making the wrong choice. Well, <laughs> it, it's actually not accurate. It, 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 okay, actually, it's it's like dead wrong. Okay, um, so what I'd like to do in this video is uh, talk about that topic. Okay, so like with my other ones, other videos, um, I you know I like to write up here like a goal or whatever we're talking about. Okay, so uh, how so everyone wants to know how to make right choices or like or change like our picker right change our picker change change our attachments that we choose right because we we choose so so I'm going to write that right here I'm kind of going to like do this change our attachments like let's let's like like right like everyone over you overuses those you know because it's like an exclamation you know but it kind of like change our attachments like let, let's change them okay well you're going about it all wrong like okay Mario like okay whatever right okay but no you are okay so do not fall asleep okay because the minute I say this word you, you're gonna fall asleep okay. <laughs> I'm gonna write it on. I'm gonna write it on the board. Okay, don't fall asleep. Okay, I'm gonna wake up. All right, here we go. Okay, I'm gonna talk about economics for one minute. Well, maybe more than a minute, but okay. I promise I'll bring this full circle. Okay, so I'm a huge economic guy, like investment. Central banking. I, I said it in my introductory video. Um, stock market. Uh, um, there is a theory in economics that that is called th those who th those who know economics that are watching this know what's coming. Uh, they should. It's going to be one of two things, and it's not supply and demand, all right, or equilibrium, all right. It is. Opportunity cost. I swear I am going to prove in this video that how to make right choices and how to change your attachments and or the work that you might be doing in therapy and or is all wrong. Okay? Oh, opportunity, opportunity cost. Okay, good. All right. What is actually happening is you are not thinking about the opportunity cost of the attachments and the choices that you're making because you guessed it. <laughs> okay, watch. I, I got to make this like smaller because I wrote like a, a child with like cradle of crayon. Okay, watch. I'm not going to draw this whole thing. I'm going to make it quick. Okay, because I know you've seen it many times, and I promise I'm going to go over this so it makes more sense. 
all right? So you can understand what this is all about. Okay, watch this. Um, oh, oh, this is female, female and male. Uh, oh, I did this wrong. God. Oh, yeah, you know what we'll do? We'll just erase that, okay? And we'll put empath, okay? And, and uh, yeah, let's do this. Yeah, let's, okay, look at that. Don't you love the light board? Okay, and then, and then uh, this one is, um, you know what? Okay, just for grins, okay, just, just for funny things, okay? You know what? I'm not doing it this time. I'm doing this. Ah, okay. All right. So, male, female. Okay. Uh, what are we going to, um, okay. Uh, I, I don't want to offend anybody, but, okay. So, um, uh, ah, I can't do it. I, I, I can't do it. Okay. Um, evil. Okay. Let's do that. All right. And it's not evil. I was going to put, you know, the B word, never the C word. Never. I mean, I only use that. My mom told me you just never say that word, and I've always abide by it. And no matter what, it's bad. But let's just put evil, okay? All right. Because a scorned woman. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> when, yeah. When you are, when your empathy band is too great. And your subconscious mind is overpowering your inner self, your inner voice. What you are actually doing is you're not making the wrong choice. You are not considering the opportunity cost. It's not even, it's, it's not even coming to be. Now, many people watching this video will say, well, 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 yeah, I, I, I am. You're wrong. No, no, I, I am. I do. I, I go out with my friends or I go out with my girlfriends. In this case, the man, he's, you know, going online, you know, maybe looking at porn or I don't know, maybe he's talking to other women and, and whatever. Those are exercises of the conscious mind. They're not exercises of the inner self. They're, they're not. That woman or man who is doing that is bind, like, like might as well be blind, like, like nothing inside, just empty, just empathy, just done, okay? In economics, the definition of opportunity cost or opportunity costs is when you, when you make a choice, you are in fact giving up completely the opportunity to acquire, gain, or use something else. So the cost of foregoing the opportunity to have something else is what you are currently or do have. When you use empathy and when it is out of balance inside you, can you imagine what I'm saying? I'm basically saying you can have too much empathy. I'm basically saying that within ourselves, the empathy band within the planetary narcissism model, which I swear I'll go over, you know, I'll get to it, okay? And so you can understand the whole thing, all right? Because it's, it's involved. It really, truly is, okay? It, 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 it can't get out of whack. And when it does, it reverses itself and actually causes you harm. Duh. Make sense? Okay. So, in economics, you... Your choices and attachment issues are being created by your inability, inner self, to see the actual cost, period. Because empathy 
And this overblown band of empathy within you has blinded you to the, carefully listen, to the actual cost to you, your happiness, and your life of what you're currently choosing. Yeah, you might say, I could have this, I could have that. It's all conscious mind. That's not inner self subconscious. It's funny that, that <laughs> okay. So here's the, here is the part two, here is the answer. Okay. All right. The only way, well, first of all, I gave you answers on the other, on, on part one. Okay. So for, for part two. All right. The next time you feel or are in discussion about the choices, I want you to write down what your inner self desires. Write it down. And here's where it gets really good, okay? I want you to, well, how can I, because I write right here, then I become invisible, look stupid, blah, blah, blah. okay, right, okay, all right. I'm gonna, um, I'll, I'll put it right here, okay. Write down inner, inner feelings. When you, next time you, when the next time that inner voice cries out, against your huge empathetic band that's using his conscious mind to give this, not evil, come on, you know, this evil woman or this evil man, empty body, blah, 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 all of the internet, YouTube, okay? I want you to write down what your inner self, actually write it down and don't stop writing. Don't worry about spelling. Don't worry about grammar and have a, have a diary. Okay, you ever want to do a diary? Here, now's your chance, okay? Just write, okay? Write down what your inner self is saying as the, the, the loss, the cost of the current choices you're making, but don't call them cost. <laughs> oh yeah. I want you to call them goals. Write down your goals. Don't you want to be happy? Don't you want to be with a man that loves you? Don't you want to be with a woman that loves you? Isn't that what you're giving up? Your current choices aren't giving you that, are they? Your current attachments? aren't giving you that, are they? What are the actual costs of the current choices you're making? What are the actual costs of the current attachments that you have? Those are your new goals. However small or however big. Now I know many people, well, it, it doesn't really matter to me, but you know, I just kind of got to say this. Is this earth shattering? I don't know. Remember, my goal is not to recreate any wheels. My goal is not to be right. My goal is to open a door, give you a window or a path, to see, to look through or open that you did not or weren't doing before you watched this. That's it. I'm not trying to be anything. Write those goals down. Don't worry about spelling. Don't worry about grammar. Just write. You ever, you ever um, heard about writer's block? I'm sure you have. 
And what is the answer to getting out of writer's block? Just write. And write about anything. You, know, you have to write a term paper. You learn this in grammar school. You learn this in high school. You learn this in college. You just write. And then suddenly the ideas flow. When you start writing down the actual opportunity costs of the choices and the attachments you're making, because you're writing them in a binder that says goals on it, you are basically programming the subconscious mind and your conscious mind to shrink that empathy band, to shrink it, to reduce it. Because you need to shrink it because it's crowding out yourself. It's crowding out you, your ego. It's crowding it out. And we need to put equilibrium back. All right? Okay. The next step after you get to this, okay, and this is awesome because you're gonna because you're probably saying to me, well, it doesn't matter. I, I write it down. I'm stuck. I'm married. I, I I have three children, finances, all of this. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, that's another video. No, I'm teasing. Well, it is, but I'm teasing. I'm not teasing. It is. Okay. Um. The next step is this. You're going to stop thinking you have attachment problems. You're going you're gonna to stop thinking about why do I keep making the wrong choices? Because you now have a book with your inner thoughts in it that you can go back to and read about what you want. And you're going to stop fighting. Now wait for it because this is good. You're going to stop fighting for someone else to give it to you. And you're going to stand and start to stand taller, more solid, because you're going to shrink that empathy band because when it gets too big, it crowds out self and goes outward. And we need to bring it inward. So we need to shrink that empathy band. And as it shrinks, it gets stronger. And why and how does it get stronger? Because you have your sense of self back. And that's self-esteem. And that is what makes your empathy powerful. Because it's coming from a place of self-esteem. It's coming from a place of strength. So when you read these goals and the opportunity costs of the choices and attachments that you're currently making, you now will be able to see your husband, boyfriend, boss, life in true reality. And you'll stop fighting to change. <laughs> oh my dear God. You'll stop Fighting to change the outside world and everybody that's causing you harm because you're going to stand tall and you're going to say, this isn't right. I have goals. I've set boundaries. No. That, did you hear that? That was the ice machine in the refrigerator. <laughs> I'm not going to take that anymore. And, I, and, I, and I'm not going to fight you on it. And I, and I know right from wrong. And I'm not going to let you gaslight me anymore. And I'm not going to beg. And I'm not going to plead anymore. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even know what else to say. I, I, I hope I was like so clear in this. And, and uh, yeah, I, I got nothing. Well, I do have a lot else, but I, I, you know what? I'm going to end it there. And I hope that this makes sense. This is part two of the uh, how to make the right choices, how to stop the crazy, um, change your attachments, look at things differently, uh, understand Healthy empathy, understand 
and understanding yourself better and putting a, a visual to what's making us unhappy and, and miserable. You know they say life is hard. You know? I used to say that. I did. I haven't said it in a long time. Anyway, uh, I truly hope this helps. Um, this is Marty, and we'll, we'll see you in the next video.